The countdown is on tonight. We reported here on that showdown in the Oval Office. President Trump and Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, the Democratic leaders of the Senate and the House. Well, tonight the question remains, will the government shut down right before Christmas and who will be blamed if it does? It would affect millions of Americans just as the holidays arrive. And ABC senior national correspondent Terry Moran with what he's learned tonight. Tonight, Congress is looking to the White House to see if President Trump really will shut down government if he doesn't get money for his border wall. If the White House has a plan, they're keeping it to themselves. Democrats made it plain Trump would own a shutdown. I think the American people recognize that we must keep government open, that a shutdown is not worth anything and that you should not have a Trump shutdown. Uh, you have the, the oh, oh, White I House Trump, Trump shutdown. Oh. Oh. You have the White House. Go you have the Senate. The president says he's willing to take the mantle of political responsibility. I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck. A shutdown threatens hardship to many government workers for the holidays. Tonight, we're learning some federal employees could see their Christmas vacations canceled. All this is happening just as the president is shaking up his White House staff, naming budget director Mick Mulvaney acting chief of staff. But even before Mulvaney takes up his post in January, this potentially embarrassing old video from 2016 is surfacing. Yes, I'm supporting Donald Trump. I'm doing so as enthusiastically as I can, given the fact I think he's a terrible human being. Uh, but the choice on the other side is just as bad. Do I like Donald Trump? No. Was he a role model for my sons? Absolutely not. All right, Terry Moran with us live tonight from the White House. And Terry, uh, no change after those comments surfacing. Mick Mulvaney will continue to serve as acting chief of staff, but obviously not the best timing for these comments to come to light. It's awkward, David, that's for sure. And he's walking them back as fast as he can. He had a spokesperson put out a statement saying this is old news, noting that Mr. Mulvaney made those comments before he'd ever met Donald Trump and adding he both likes and respects the president and he likes working for him. So we'll see how it goes back there. All right, Terry Moran live at the White House. Terry, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.